Girls of Grade One, welcome back to Social Studies with Miss Bo. Oh my! And how are you? So today for Social Studies, we are going to continue looking at the topic family. Yes, but we're not going to look at what is a family or members of the family boys and girls why do you think we're not looking at that exactly because we did that before so today we are looking at something that is special to every every single family member oh miss Bo, what is that Oh, Miss Bo, are you sure it's special to everyone? My little sister, my big brother, it is special to my uncle, my aunt, mommy, daddy, granny, everyone. Yes, boys and girls, it is special to everyone. It is also special to me. And it is special to you. Great. But before I tell you what we're looking at, you're going to listen to a story. Are you ready for story time? Let's turn on our listening ears. Mm, great. There was a little boy by the name of Azariah. What was his name? Azariah. Yes. And Azariah is mommy, is daddy, his aunt, uncles, cousins, grandma, grandpa, everyone visited the park. Oh my, oh my. They were playing. They were playing music and they were dancing, dancing to the music. Yes, boys and girls, when you hear music, what do you do? Yes, you would dance. And they were playing games in the yard. Yes. Do you play games? They were having a fun time, a fun time. And Azariah decided that he's going to take a walk. So as he was walking, and he was walking, Mommy wasn't paying attention because she told Azariah before, remember to stay close to me. I do not want you to wander away. But Azariah was looking at the flowers, and he walked, and he said, Mmm, this is the pink flower, and he walked, and he said, Mmm, I love the yellow flowers. And he got all caught up with all the beautiful flowers. And he picked the flowers, and he said, You know what? One is for mommy, one is for daddy, one is for brother, one is for sister. One is for my aunt, and one is for my uncle. Mm, and of course, he picked two. Yes, two. And guess who he gave it to? Yes, he gave it to grandma and grandpa. And he was walking. And when he looked around, and he looked far, and he looked near, he looked up. And he looked down. There was no one there. No mommy. No daddy. No aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, cousins. Everyone was gone. So he started to cry. And he was like, Mommy wouldn't go and leave me. Daddy wouldn't go and leave me. We are there. But little Azariah did not realize that he had wandered away from them and no one missed him. Mm, that is sad. And he decided, since I'm so tired, I'm going to sit. Yes, he's only six years old, so he sat by the roadside. Yes, he wandered by the roadside because there, was f there were flowers all around there. And he sat there and he started to cry. <laughs> oh, I want my mommy. I want my daddy. Someone
Someone please help me. But no one was passing by. Then, as Rai Mommy decided that, let me look, where is Azariah? And she shouted, Azariah, Azariah. But he wasn't there. He was far away. And he sat by the roadside and he was crying and he was waving his arms and his, he was kicking his legs and everything and he was crying and he was saying, oh please, oh please, I need my mommy. Oh my boys and girls, there came a police officer in a jeep. Vroom, vroom, and he came and he, and he saw the little boy by the roadside. And he said, hello little boy. What is your name? And he said, My name is Azariah. And the police officer asked, What are you doing here? Where is mommy? Where is daddy? And he said, I was with them. Mommy said, Don't go anywhere. But I was picking some beautiful flowers. And I got lost. I want my mommy and my daddy. So the officer said, in order for us to find them back, I need you to tell me two things. Pay keen attention, boys and girls, because this is what we're looking at today. Two things you must tell me. Your first name. Yes, and your last name. So he said, my name my name is Azariah Quasi. And because he was nervous, he was trembling. My name is Azariah Quasi. So the officer said, okay, relax. I'm going to take you back to your mommy and daddy. I need you to relax so that you can tell me what is your name. He said, my name is Azariah Quasi. And the officer said, oh, that's your first name or your Christian name. Yes, boys and girls. So our first name, it is called our Christian name. What is your first name? My first name is Bo. What is my first name? Bo. Yes. What is your first name? Oh, I really like it. It's very beautiful. And the police officer said, you need to know your last name. Mm, my last name? Oh, the police officer said, what's your mommy's name? And what's your daddy's name? And he said, my mommy's name is Gail Hunter. And my daddy's name is Quasi Hunter. Boys and girls, what is Azariah's last name? That is correct. His last name is Hunter. What is it? Hunter. So the officer said, oh my, you can smile now. So your first name, which is your Christian name, it's Azariah. And your last name, it's Hunter. Mm. So he wiped his tears. He wiped it very slowly. And he said, thank you. So the officer said, I'm going to type into my computer. It was right in the Jeep. And he typed the name. And with all the fancy technologies, they found Azariah's parents, his entire family. And guess what? While the police officer was approaching them, they were all busy all over looking for Azariah. And the police officer said to them, you need to be careful. So boys and girls, today we are looking at family names. Your family name is very important. If Azrai did not know his family name, then they would have taken a longer time to find his family because there are many persons with same first name, but you would hardly find everyone having the same last name, which is the family name. So everyone has at least two names, a first name and a last name. Yes, I said at least because there are some persons with more than two names. Yes, some persons have three. Some persons have four, 
Even five. How many names do you have? So remember, it is important to know your first name, which is your Christian name. Yes, my first name is Bo. What is your first name? And we must know our last name. My last name is Alan. And what is your last name? Those two names are very important. You can also be encouraged to learn those names that are found in the middle. But you must know. Everywhere you go, you must know your first name and your last name yes so you're going to look right here and we have someone's name here let's read Idelia Eucasia Thomas yes how many names three names can you identify our first name point to our first name if you had selected that, where the arrow is, then you are correct. Hooray! What about her last name? Yes, that is our last name, right where the arrow is. Let's move on. Two more activity to do. Yes, we have two more activities and then you can go. Oh my! Great, so let's go. Italia, Ulysia, Egnota, Thomas. Mm, those names are really big. How many names are there? She has four names. Can you identify the first and the last name? What do we call the first name? Yes, boys and girls, it is our Christian name. And the last name is our family name. Yes, big boys and girls. So remember, every family member has at least, which means that they can have some more names, two names. Your first name and your last name. Your first name is your Christian name and your last name is your family name. Yes, and most time within an household, you would find most persons having the same last name. Or most boys and girls have the last name of their daddy. Some of them, both mommy and daddy, along with them have the same last name. So boys and girls, Please learn your first and your last name, your Christian and your family name. Bye, boys and girls. See you again next time.